So, uh, yeah, let's begin. Um, thank you for coming to my talk. My name is Alessio Calteracci. I'm French, I'm not Italian. You can find me on Twitter with this handle, I'd play. Oh, no, okay, the point, Liza Ponton doesn't work. On GitHub, or you have my mail if you want to ask me some question after the conference, it's okay. I work for Clever Cloud. We are, just a few words about this, we are a pass, a platform as a service where we can host your application. Okay, you just git push, we build it, we run it for you, we patch the kernel for you, everything you want. So I want to put some credit uh, to Didier Plandou who helped me to write this uh, presentation. Uh, you have uh, his handle Twitter, his GitHub. This guy is work on functional programming, compiler, everything. You should follow his work. It's very incredible. So let's dive in. So concurrency, what does it mean? Don't read the text, read, read this, it's better, I think. Just concurrency is about dealing a lot of things at once, okay? If we compare this to parallelism, parallelism is doing a lot of things at once, and concurrency is dealing, okay? And for that, if we go uh, with simple code, we use mutex, semaphore, and spring lock to do this. Who has already worked with this? Raise your hand, please. Please, that was terrible, no? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone? So, someone like it? Yeah. You, okay, you all know. <laughs> if you have some question to this guy, ask him. <laughs> so, this is a horrible for me because when you have to write some code that uses mutex, semaphore, spin lock, or everything you want, every primitive, concurrency primitive, you can't test because the number of tests will be unfactorial or something, okay? But, and the idea is to pass this, you, we have to base on the mathematic proof, okay? So we invent process calculus. By over this this with CSP, and we have the P calculus for distributed system. Let's just take a look. The CSP model, it's communicating with sequential, sequential process, sorry. You can find this in Go. Rod Pike was, um, uh, used this for the channel system, if you have some Go developer in the room. The idea is very simple. You have a producer here, which um, it's like an object or something, and then can have uh, his own variable, like a number. The idea is we can send a message to a consumer, which will be another object, and we'll send the number. Okay, we'll generate. And we have this infinity loop because here we have a star, so that's repeat, until this word is true, okay? The idea is we'll create a consumer too. It's another object. We have this infinity loop with us true, okay? And as you can see, we have producer with this interrogation um, point here and the number. This is based on the rendezvous. That sounds great because it's French, and I'm French. Um, the idea is when a process sends a message, we need to have another process that listens behind, okay? And if we don't have a consumer, the producer will block until uh, someone arrives, okay? Same thing, very basic. And we bind the um, the, the message to a, uh, a local variable and we print after that. Okay, very, very simple. We have a main, of course, and with this uh, double uh, vertical bar, you can create two threads, the producer and uh, the consumer. Why I put delegate, I don't know, but <laughs> trust me, this code is not. here you put consumer. But that's work only for one host, okay, one server that doesn't fit with a distributed system, which actor co cover the, um, uh, the concurrency and the distributed system. So for distributed system, what we call is multiple software that component that run on multiple computers, okay? Everything, everyone is fine with this definition? Okay, well, fine. So we invented pre-calculus. This is just the grammar of, the, of this language. All these based on channel, okay, name each channel, and every process will send message to this channel. You can compare this to RabbitMQ of Kafka. It's the same thing, okay? 
but p calculus is a theoretical model. So we invented Actor, okay? It's another solution. We have peer calculus that works, CSP that works, but that Actor, I think, in my point of view, is more elegant. You will see why. So what is an Actor? Actor uh, is an entity that encapsulates the state, okay? Very basic, and you provide a service, okay? Like a microservice. And if you take a look at the anatomy of an actor, so we have this box, which we call an actor. An actor has an interface, and you, you will understand this after. He has a behavior. The behavior is a list of messages you can understand, okay? He has a state that he can change, that can be local, variable, everything you want. And if we want to communicate with him, you use a mailbox, okay? A mailbox is just a concurrency list, okay? But you don't manage this. You let the runtime system doing this, okay? And to communicate with him, you send, so he has an address to know where is the mailbox, a reference, and you send a message. So the message will put in the mailbox, he will treat this uh, by passing through the behavior, change the state, and after that he can send yeah, you can send another message, okay? The basic idea is actor have three, only three axiom, which is, the first one is an actor can create another actor, okay, very basic. You can spawn every number of actor you want. You can send a message, or of course, receive a message, okay, amazing. And he has a behavior, he, he can change the behavior, okay, very simple and after each next message. So an actor is something retroactive and not proactive. If you never send him a message, it will never act, okay? Let's illustrate this with uh, a basic, uh, this is a hacker with color, okay? So you will see this code in the demo, okay? But I will just show you to illustrate the actor axiom. So we have an energy, okay? which is then the actor, um, oh, sorry, it's not in interface. So, sorry, I'm a C and Rust developer, I'm not a Scala developer, I just learned the Scala for the talk on the flight. <laughs> so you have, a, this is a constructor, okay, that extends the actor, so it, I think it's an abstract class. I, I forgot. And you have your behavior. This is the behavior, it's a receive, okay, you have to implement this. Java force you to do this. And in this, we have pattern matching based on token. It's the message, okay? You, you do a pattern matching on the message you receive. And when you match to um, a message, like try consume, you can do everything you want. Is here, you can see the OWER syntax. So Scala and Hakka bring the OWER syntax in, the, in their model. And so we, to the sender, so the, the actor send us the message, we will send back consume, okay? And for the region two, we can send multiple messages, not only just one. And after that, we can change the, the context, okay? So the behavior. So the next behavior will be this one, okay? The, the idea of this little code is uh, an energy is a, an entity in a, in a word, if you consume it, you will die, okay? And the idea is, after we receive the first message, consume, we go to the consumed uh, behavior and we'll um, stash all the message. We drop all of the message, okay? Pretty simple. Uh, so, to talk uh, with um, actor, we use explicit message. You can do, just do this. And we do this to avoid concurrency problem. What I mean by that, you, we do not communicate by sharing memory. Sorry to read this because it's so hard. Instead, we share memory by communicating, okay? Let me explain you. This is a chair, okay? That will become my sharing memory, okay? I have, if we code with mutex and semaphore, I have a lock, okay? All in the, in the room, you're all thread. Me too, but I have a lock. If I change the state of this, of this chair, okay, I will put a bill. 
<laughs> we won't leave this. OK, I change the state now. Now I can release the lock. What will happen, all this thread here will fight to get this, to get the lock. You can put another build if you want, if you have the lock or everything, OK? And that will fight on the CPU level, OK? It's very hard to code this. It's very complicated. So the, the idea is, uh, yeah, I, I take back, sorry. <laughs> Uh, the idea is we communicate by shared memory, OK? I will send you all of you a message. Like, now I put a bill on the chair, OK? And if you are interested, you send me back a message, I'm interested. I will choose someone, OK? It's all act or communicate. And with this, we, all, we remove all deadlocks and data arrays. And from doing that, actor just put a message in the mailbox, OK, of another actor. You see, each actor has his own mailbox, and we just put another message. Oh, sorry. So the property of communication be behind this is zero copy message. OK, that's for performance. Not all the runtime system do this. I don't know if I can do this. We are based on immutable message, OK? But uh, let me explain why. Please, c come here. Uh, can you just? Uh, type two word in this. Write two two word, two yeah, simple okay. word, in English or in Russian. Or I don't care. Okay, no, no. T take this. Give me a digit between one and uh, nine. Five. Five. Okay. Uh, direction. Left. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Give him the message. Okay. Just write the, few the first word. No, no, read the, uh, sorry, read the, the first word. Terrible. Okay, fine. <laughs> I can understand. Now, if I change the second word, what will happen if you read this? Never. What? Never. No, 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 what will happen? If I, I'm, right, I'm changing the message and you're reading too. Uh, okay. It's a data race. You know, when, when two thread, or reading the same, one is writing on the memory and one is reading on the memory. That color. It's why we can't do this. And we have to manage this with immutable message, OK? The only way to change a message is to pass from a proxy actor. We'll create another actor and we'll send the message to him. He will revive this like a proxy, like a chat proxy or something, and he send back to the real actor, a very real recipient, sorry. And we have the notion of acquaintance. The notion of acquaintance is very simple. It's a complicated word for nothing. I can send you a message only if I know your reference, OK? So I, during the creation, I need in the constructor or something your reference. Some system pass this and uh, use the broadcast message, but we, it's, it's not elegant. And it's not determinist, OK? If I send you a message, and you will send you a message to a holder we don't, we don't know, OK? Maybe my message will pass af after or before his message. Very simple. And I have to have an address. What I mean by that is you have uh, an address like this. Um, I can do uh, something like uh, Unix path, OK, on the file system. Like, this is events and storage. And between this is a N N relationship, okay? So behind an ad, uh, an address, you can have multiple actors, okay? For load balancing, which is smart. And every actor has its own reference, so we have to this thing address and reference, okay? Message. Uh, the idea of message is you have you can use a past message, which is. I send you a message, I don't care about the result. Just take it. Just say a no message is I send you a message, but I'm waiting for the response, OK? In kind of synchronization. But if you want something asynchronous, you can use future or promise. I can use future. It's fine. After that, we have performative. The, the idea of performative um, is like um, verb in, uh, how we call that? Uh, CRUD system? No. CRUD uh, architecture. Let me see. It's, it's very basic. Uh, 
Where I put this? So FIPA does something about performative. This is a list of performative they invent. And the idea is you have a query if, for example. We can, uh, we can compare this to a get in HTTP request, OK? But uh, we have more information because we are query if something. So it's smart to use performative as a, a type of message, OK? When you will write your code, there will be more understandable. Oh, yeah, fine. can go back to the presentation. We have an ontology. Uh, the principle of ontology is um, if I send you, I know a good example in French, but that will not work here. <laughs> uh, so if I send you a message like, um, hello, OK, fine. But we are not on the same level of ontology. That means for you, hello is fuck you, maybe. I know. <laughs> so when I will send you the message, you are like, oh, you, you will compute this not as high appender, OK? So we, are, we need to have all the actors on the same ontology level. And another thing is uh, a message is very uh, just one, one time. Okay, if I send you a message, you have to compute this message now, or that will, you, you, I, you are not sure that I will send you back the message, okay? So for message processing, we we'll have a lot of things, and uh, this is continuous, and uh, if I send a, a message to an actor that doesn't exist, that becomes a dead letter, okay? Just the message is passed somewhere, and we don't know what happened is how we catch errors. We don't use exception, we use dead letters. And after that, we have the isolated term principle, which is the, the idea is you have a micro step semantics, which give to the actor um, the notion of, um, uh, how we call that? Um, so you have a single isolated state. So you can change your, um, your state and send message without caring about data arrays or deadlocks in your code, okay? Which is pretty fun. Not, you can't do that with mutex and semaphore. Actor comes in, come in system, okay? They're not alone. So we have our system like Aka that will run all the actor. Let me show you with a demo. For the demo, who knows this game? Who have ever played to Aga here? Okay, oh, not too much, okay. So the, um, the basic uh, at work or no? I, I'm only one. Okay. The basic idea is you have cell. Okay. This is a player that can heat some energy to become more bigger. And if you are bigger, you can heat other player. Okay. And much you are bigger, much you will win. Oh, sorry. So now, problematic things will happen. Okay. Single. More. Estesia in single. So for the Nemo, we recreate this game with a Hacktoon model. Okay, so that ran. There we go. Oh, fuck. OK, this is a game. You, you will understand why we have to region after. So we're pretty ID, oh, if, I, if I know, yeah. So every player here, as you can see, with this red ball is, a, is an actor, OK? Same for the energy here, OK? This is an actor, too. So if we have some, we have, like, no, this one will not hit. We have to find a player that eats something. OK, like this one is very big, so he hit all the player. And uh, maybe this one will hit the energy. I don't know. No, he is not interested. Oh, this one hits something, OK? To hit something, he has to communicate between each actor, so he sends a message to him. And the actor responds, OK? Like this one. You see, he hits something. So we have communication with actor. 
And as you can see, all the actors are going to the left top, and I don't know why. This is a bug. I <laughs> If someone wants to fix this, the code is open source on GitHub. Feel free. <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't have time to fix this. And uh, sometimes we, yeah, no, everything is cool now. Yeah, yeah, we have an actor here. We don't know why. I'm oh, fine. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, you see, we have some pretty problem. I don't know why. Maybe it's a bug on the on the client. So let, let's. Take a look at the code. So this is all the dead letters, but uh, the logger is broken. I don't know why. Let's take a look how we did this. OK. Uh, I use Emacs because Vim sucks. I can show you better with this thing. So we use Mermaid to the documentation. This is the code, and we see to the doc we have a Mermaid. Mermaid looks like this. Okay, you can use this um, service. It's online. You have Mermaid Live Editor if you want, and that generates you a sequential. Um, what we call this in UML? Can Can anyone help me? Another. Thank you. Synchronous diagram. So it's very easy to document, uh, to create documentation for your code when you use the actor model because everything is message, okay? So you just have to create every entity and each arrow is a message, okay? And each arrow with dot is a response. Fine. Pretty small. So the idea is we have a region. Mm, yeah. This is a region. The region has a state, as you can see here, and just we install the player and the and oh yeah, that's we install the the player state, just the position, the weight, okay, so that gives the radius and the velocity, and if it is virtual, you will understand why after. Same for the energy, just the position and the value, okay. And after that, we have the arbitrator. The arbitrator is something pretty stupid and stateless. The idea is every time we make a turn, okay, region has the state of the word. At the beginning of the turn, the region, uh, the arbitrator will ask for the region, all the entity are IOE, okay? And AOI is um, just the area of interest. So a player, you don't send all the words that you just send to the player what is around him, okay? To gain on the number of message. And after that, to all the player, waiting for you is set, okay, in progress term, we take all the player and we'll say, it's your time to play, okay? And when the time, and we launch a timeout, okay? And when the timeout is, uh, is, is, is closed, we, um, we get all the message from the player, which is uh, something like, uh, no, this is not this one. Let us go, oh yeah. Let me, some, let me try something. Player, player, maybe. This is a player. Okay, the, the player just has a tick message. Uh, when it's his time to play, okay, the tick here, and he has just to send back the, um, his new position, okay? The idea with that is the region collect all these things, and if the player didn't respond, we kill the actor, okay? And we use a future to be asynchronous and not have something synchronized. Yeah, so everything is fine. So as you can see, oh, yeah, sorry, I have to put this. Uh, maybe we can have some problem in the code when two players want to hit the same energy, okay? 
Because it's a time of synchronization, it's a problem with the actor model. It's one, it's one of the bad case, okay? When we have to create an actor supervisor, which all the two actor consumer will send a message to the actor supervisor, like, can I use the, um, the resource, okay? The actor supervisor say, tell them yes, and at uh, one of the actor consumer, you say, no, it's not your turn, okay? And so it's like a lock. It's a, it's a problem. So when it's yes, the actor consumer that can access to the actor supply clerk. The actor supply clerk is something has the state. And after he consumed, the, he changed the state of the actor supply clerk or something, he released the lock to the actor supervisor, and the actor consumer, the second actor consumer, now it's his turn. He know that because the actor supervisor sent him a message back. So some people are working on these things. It's safe sharing among actor model, which is based on the idea of domain. The idea is you create a domain, okay, here, uh, which is a key value storage here. I don't know why they did that. You create two actor, okay, on the system, and in, you have a callback here when you try to access the domain, okay? And you have a when exclusive access, okay? So some framework will be more better if you have safe, if you have some sharing state, okay? Akai is not very good for that, and some ch research have put these things with domain. That worked pretty well. But what can happen when we have players that uh, want to um, interact with uh, across region map boundaries? Like what I mean by that is when when um, no, let me uh, let me ask you a question, a simple question. Okay? You have yeah, sorry. <laughs> you you have one region, only one that run on one server, okay? We put all the player in this region, okay? What could happen to the server? Le uh, an idea? Yeah, a down. Yeah, yeah it's, it's because we have a lot of load on the server, so the server can crash, okay? So an idea we have for the demo is to use a map-centric game server. Pattern. With the idea is we take the game, okay, and we split this in region, okay, and each actor system will run only one region. So the problem is so that load balance the load, okay, but the problem is when you're on the limit of one region, like this player, uh, this is Lori, okay need to be able to communicate with other actor on another node of the cluster, okay? He need to show Poland, Sweden, and can hit this energy, okay? This is a, the area of interest he have. So, and when he move, when Lori moved to the other region, we have to transfer this actor in another uh, node of the cluster. And we can do that with ACA very, um, and with actor model very smartly, okay? The idea is we have loca location transparency, like the path of, I show you uh, before. Like, the location transparency is, you remember the path, you can have multiple actors behind this path, okay? So, let me show you in the demo how we can, how we did this. Uh, in the, in the cluster, we use a bridge, okay? This bridge is an, act, is an actor that you have in every node, and just you act as a proxy, okay? So every message you want to send to other region, you pass through the bridge, okay? And we use as this path, user region, okay? Region can communicate with each other. So, let's go. Uh, not this one. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, stays. Yeah. Uh, uh, we 
that will work in the cluster mode, okay? So every region is waiting for the hover. So now it's starting in cluster mode. Haka, you're a little slow sometime. Oh yeah, that's something better. Okay. Oh, let me show. I want some auto completion. Okay. We will do the load. Okay. Now we have two regions. Okay. It's two different nodes. Everything is on the same laptop, but you catch the idea. Okay. The idea is when, so you can see the problem of transferring an actor to another region is very simple with a, with a actor model, like this one. When it, it will, um, change the region, so we extend the region be because if an actor doing this, okay, will took all the time transfer the agent, the actor, so it's not good. Like this one will escape. It's long, a little long. So uh, something is very long. Do, do we have someone close? Oh, like this one, yeah. This is a bug, okay? But, so, you see the, this actor here has a change, and we move this on the, another node of the cluster. But it is, uh, we don't know why we still have the player in the previous region. If you catch the bug, tell me. But, so, with actor model, it's very easy to transfer service between nodes, okay? And to communicate between Area is very simple because they exchange message. So it's pretty, pretty stupid. Okay. Uh, let's go back. Uh, so what about persistence? Um, the idea is ACA provide a lot of things like ACA persistence and event sourcing way and a lot of stuff. The idea is it's very easy to make persistence and migration of database, I was, uh, the idea is an actor can be a small database, okay, because he has a state, but the state is very tiny. So the idea is we can use ACA persistence, which is like taking a snapshot every time you receive a message, you write to the disk or in an external database or something. And after you write this, make the snapshot, and if we have a crash, okay, we can rebuild the, um, the system at uh, the last snapshot, okay? And it's, it's very easy to do that because the, the state of an actor is very tiny, okay? And uh, event sourcing feel very well with the actor model beca because everything in event sourcing is event, okay? Event can be a message. Same for secure AS. Secure AS, we have comments, okay? And a, a comment can be a message. And uh, so, this is great. And so for recovery part, we just let it crash, okay? Because we can recover the previous state very easily with snapshot, okay? So we have a let it crash philosophy with the actor model. To handling external input and output, what I mean by that? Sometimes we, uh, not sometimes, every time, we work with database or every other service, okay? But they don't use the actor model for this, okay? So the idea is same for functional programming. We have some functional programming in the room or not? No, yeah, ah, someone, yeah. So uh, if I remember correctly, in Haskell, all the IO part is imperative, no? Nobody took a look at the compiler of this work? Oh, okay, fine. If I remember correctly, it's, um, it's an imperative way. So they put every border eff side effect in, um, in the monad way, way away for your um, main code, okay? We will do this, oh, okay, someone, <laughs> thank you. Uh, so we'll do this 
will do the same for the actor model. So we will encapsulate the communication of a database by an actor. So we will steal with the actor model, okay? And we'll use, just, uh, use that, and we put all the side effects on the, on the corner, okay? So to handling failure, we have Olean, which is a distribute, uh, this is made by Microsoft. It's the um, opposite of um, ACA, yeah? Because Olean work with uh, C Sharp, okay? It's made by Microsoft. The, the idea is we create what we call a virtual actor. And uh, so if an actor sends a message, okay, and the actor doesn't exist, normally we will have a dead letters in a hacker. The idea is uh, we'll spawn an, an actor if the actor doesn't exist yet, okay? So they can have a failure. It's, it, it's smart, but um, I don't like this this way. So, and uh, for ACA hierarchy, we have super, supervision and strategy. What I mean by that is you can change the scheduler, okay? All the scheduler work. Like, um, uh, you can stop the scheduler and all the actors will stop, okay? And, some, and resume when we want, okay? It's very good for simulation like I do the, for the demo, okay? The demo can be compared to a simulation because we don't have a real player. We just use intelligence artificial. And that's my point. Microservice can be based on actor model, okay? Because an actor model, as you can see, is just a tiny state and that delivers service, okay? So you, we can use uh, the actor model when we have a microservice architecture, okay? That's fit very well, trust me. We use this, uh, we use Akka and my company for all the log system. We have Akka Stream. So the idea is we have multiple hypervisor when we have multiple virtual machine where we run your application. And all the log um, output by your application or stream with Akka stream, okay? So we use Hacktor everywhere on this. Sometimes it's very hard to debug and test uh, you, the Hacktor model because it's, the, the number of message can be huge very huge, and so some uh, research uh, work on Actoverse, Acto, yeah, Actoverse. The idea is we, we put some annotation on the field of your class, the ACA class, okay? And we will record all the message, and we'll output you uh, a network trace like you have for TCP or UDP trace message, okay, in the um, protocol spec. spec. That worked, I uh, just let it, I uh, tested this, that worked well. You can change the order of message to, this is very cool, to see if your protocol have deadlock somewhere or anything else. The idea of blue-green um, deployment. So some people here, I'm sure, use Kubernetes or something. The problem with blue-green is when your state is very huge, okay, it's very hard to do a migration in blue-green. What I mean by that is sometimes you have database that have giga, uh, six, uh, 600 of giga of data, okay? It's very hard to do a blue-green migration because you have to stream all the data before the migration. It's very easy to do this with a Hacktor model because the state of an, an actor is tiny. So you can migrate one by one, okay? And when the new actor has spawned on the new node of the cluster, where, like what I did for the two region, okay? I can shut the first actor, okay? It's very simple. Um, so the actor use case uh, for me is um, all the metrics multi-threaded program, okay? I know we have a guy, we love mutex and semaphore, <laughs> it's fine, okay? But I think it's very easy to work with actor. Uh, actor cover the distributed system part, okay? Not the all uh, P calculus or something. System that need mobility and discovery, like discovery of service that use console or everything. Because uh, now we 
uh, want to be uh, cloud native. I forgot the term. Yeah, we want to be able to send our microservice in AWS, GCP, or everything. So your microservice is need to be mobile, okay, and discover all the microservices all already on the node. An actor fit well with this because when an actor comes in the system, you can send a message to everyone is uh, saying, "I'm here." Okay, if you need me, send me a message back with your reference, like a broadcast. And that fits well with all base events or comments. Okay. An anti use case of actor model is uh, the idea with you need true performance. Okay. Uh, this is our own Turin say, but read the too long I didn't re too long I didn't read. When you have uh, a need for true performance, actor model is not good because you have some overload between because you exchange message, you can all, all the message are immutable, so we have to clone the message that cost in memory and everything. Okay, it's one anti-use case I found. If you have another. Please f fill the list. So uh, we, the, um, the Hector model is one, uh, is one solution. We have multiple solutions for this. We have the joint calculus. I will not explain all this work. Just you can find some research paper on this. We have the brain calculus uh, based on the, um, what we call this, uh, biology, all um, cellular cell work. We have uh, Hamian calculus. I will take a look at this. Hamian's calculus is based on it's a work made by Luca Cardelli, okay, in uh, uh, two, 2001, I think. Uh, it's based on the mobile ambient. So, what is an ambient? Okay, it just um, it's an environment where computation can happen. And an ambient have boundaries, okay, like the region we you see you saw before, okay. This is the grammar. The grammar is very simple. You have all, uh, the n and the bracket with p is all we call an ambient, okay. And we have some capabilities. So a process in an ambient can exit the ambient or enter an ambient, okay. That would be enough to understand all this work. Uh, so. If I have two ambient, like the ambient hand and the ambient ham, okay, if the process in the ambient M, N, sorry, have the possibility to go in the M, you can prove this ju just by declaring this rule, okay? And so the process will move in the, in the air on the, if the M ambient. And so the M ambient will have to run the, um, the process P and the process R, okay? We, we use this for mo mobility, okay? Mobility of your service. So how does this work? It's uh, an academic language. I just want to present you this thing because I think you can get a lot of idea of, of this work, but don't use this in production, please. <laughs> That's not stable. Uh, so we have a consumer. So, uh, the same thing as uh, begin with our system. Uh, this is a dev service, okay, the, and uh, the dev service is just an echo message. So if we send a message to him, he will send the message back uh, like an echo service. We create a type, okay, here, this is echo service, and we publish this type, okay. We export this service as an echo service. And in the producer code, we have the uh, dev type echo service that we need, and we declare this in the consumer. And when we uh, the, um, a process was with uh, this service will be discovered, we'll run this code, OK? Uh, just print, uh, I discover an echo service. And I need to put the network online between each of them. So that will be two different GVM. And, after, and here, I can send a message to the echo service with a future, OK? And I can have a future with um, a result here that I'm buying to two-way. I will show you how this works. Oh, yeah, I have to close this way. Yeah, we don't need me this anymore. Uh, OK, you are dead. 
Oh, okay. Oh, no. Uh, is there any marks? So, this is a client, okay. This is a, the server. So, they have a runtime called yet here, which is a GVM program. I need to run this in sudo because, let me show you why. They communicate with, we don't need this anymore. Oh no, it's the, uh, they use uh, a console, okay, it's a character uh, driver to communicate, to uh, G and it allow a GVM to communicate with another one, okay? So this is a yeah, first node, so this one will be a GVM, okay? I will send, I will create another one. Let's go yet, see there. So we have now two different GVM, okay? So, uh, okay, this is this one. I will create the service. Oh, I create, it's a CLI, okay? So everything is interactive. I create the diff type here. Okay, and now I'm expo exporting this. Okay, now I'll pass to the client. Up, up. So when I discover an echo service, I will print this discovery on echo service. Okay. So I now I will uh, no. First in the client, there will be more interesting. I will enable the network here. Okay, and now if I'm doing this, I hope that will work. We have to wait to, yeah. So when this one come and I activate the network, the, the second node discovered this, okay? It was like, uh, oh, console work or something, okay? But with Hactor, okay? And so now if I can send a message back. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, fuck. I have to do uh, the same thing. Sorry. So, up. Network online. So, it will discover a service and he sent a message to the um, Heco service and the Heco service receive this, okay? So, and if you're um, cutting the, the network, uh, okay, uh, offline. Now, I put the, the server offline, okay? If I continue to send message to him, that will be put in a buffer, okay? And now, if I re-enable the network online, in the server, you see, he's, he got the message, but the server was down, okay? So, his O actor can handle exception or failure. So, thanks for, uh, thanks for the, to be here. Uh, thank you everyone, uh, you was awesome. Uh, you can have the QR code of the, the, the slide. The demo can, can be found here. You have my Twitter, GitHub, on my email if you want to speak. And now we have time for questions. I know this hot talk, we have a lot of info. I provide you a lot of information if, we, if someone has questions. No, no one? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
if you want to sort an array, you can do it uh, very fast if you use the yes. pthreads low-level mechanisms, and actors, I think, won't help you yeah, very much. Yeah, yeah, if you want so to... It's, it all depends on the context yeah. to refer to another talk. Yeah. Thank you. If you want to sort an array, actor model is not uh, the correct way. Thank you for the talk and everything. So uh, are these approaches used in some commercial projects or products? Uh, we, we, or this I've is more research? In no, 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 no. Uh, I've, uh, Aka is uh, pretty mature, as you can see. Uh, actor. Uh, is used a lot in production. You can saw a lot of uh, talk uh, of other people about Aka stream or something. And if you are more in the Microsoft um, world, we have uh, Holden, uh, Microsoft, Holden framework. And uh, like Halo 4, the game is made with uh, Holden for some part, okay? We have a lot of code, a lot of projection work stuff with Hacker. I can't give you some name, but um, it's production ready. The, the actual model exists uh, for now 43 years now, I think. It's a robust system. It's based on mathematics point, but... Um, I think this ACA uh, is kind of copying ideas that Erlang uses, and Erlang <laughs> is used in production for decades, it, the language sucks, but what they can do with it is really uh, uh, fantastic and yeah. has been successfully in telecommunications industry. Yeah. And Aka, I have seen in production as well. Thank you. Yeah, like uh, if you take Elixir, uh, Elixir lang language. Some of you have ever know about this, but uh, inside is Helang, okay? The runtime is uh, held on VM, okay? So we have actor model in a lot of place. Other question? Okay, fine, thank you.